It's been over a year since I've used this thing, and for some reason I'm getting power, and it's not doing anything in... Oh boy, I need to clean the crap out of this thing. So, I don't know if it's something with the, uh, the cord, the USB wire. I know this is technically not the stock wire it came with, but whatever, it's all the same thing, I think. Um, so, the last thing I want to do is check if, um, you know, I needed to install a driver. So let's check if I need to install a driver and we'll get back to it. Let's do this. I kind of was able to make it work once, but I was using the original cable that it came with, um, which I'm connecting it to my Focusrite audio interface because I need the cable to be long enough to, you know, cable manage, you know, everything away and make sure nothing's visible. And this cable is a lot longer than this one. So I don't know if I need to be using the initial cable that it came with. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm gonna try it one more time. I restarted my computer because it wasn't working when I swapped it with this cable. Then it stopped working with this cable again. This is, you know, this is getting me frustrated, but it's, it's a process and it's my fault because I haven't touched anything in over a year. It's working, it's working, it's working. And I'm using the red cable. All right. Okay. Okay. Please, 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 please. And it works. Okay. Do we have life? We have life. Oh boy, but why is everything so magenta-y? I fucked up. I don't know if I didn't clean the film scanner bed well, or the actual film well, or if I just fucked up in development, or it could have been because the uh, developer was over a year old. Um, but but I kind of I kind of low-key like how they turn out. There are happy accidents in a way. Look, look, look. See, not bad, right? Not bad until you start seeing like things like like this. <laughs> look at all that dust or I don't even know what it is because when I check like the other film roll or when I check the uh, the film, I didn't even see like any dust on it i cleaned the bed so i'm just gonna assume it's from the thing from the developer i don't even know how this turned out to be like flat or skinny like that but that these are all happy accidents i love it look these are so sick oh my gosh okay so i'm done scanning some film i'll probably show you the pictures at the end of the video oh and the video well, I am starting to make things again. And it is awkward. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh my gosh. Where do I even begin? Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. It's been extremely long since I've last posted um, and I haven't given you guys like an update of myself in a really, really long time. And it, it's literally been maybe about or even over a year, I'd say 2020. Well, wow, uh, that went by super fast, but that also affected me like very, 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 I guess bad or or yeah, it affected me in a negative way that year. Oh man, I, I don't know, man, since quarantine, uh, I was excited that, you know, that we were starting to work from home um, because being an introvert, you know, um, I'm always excited for those kind of things, you know, I was like, oh, woohoo, cool, cool, cool. But the more I noticed that, you know, the more that I've stayed home away from people, I noticed that I started to get very, very depressed. I started pushing away my family, my close friends, um, and I honestly have no idea why. I just, I just started falling into like a depressed state. Um, I 
practically went MIA. I it affected me in my like my photography stuff. I literally stopped shooting. <laughs> uh, I'm here now. Um, I'm taking things one step at a time, mentally especially. It, it was a mistake of me just like kind of like pushing people away. Um, I didn't really mean to do that, but you know, you learn from your mistakes and you start to grow from them, right? Oh, and check out this hair, man. It's it's super long. <laughs> I've been meaning to cut it, but kind of like it. And uh, me and my girlfriend are going to Hawaii with a few friends. Uh, I think in like in a month from now. So they want me to grow it out just to have like this surfer look, but who knows? I may or may not cut it. But anyways, I have my notes here. What have I been doing? Um, oh, whoops. Uh, let me mute my notes or my laptop. Whoop, whoop. It's muted. There was a mute button. Um, anyways, yeah. So what have I been doing um, during my hiatus? Uh, you know, like I said, I, I fell into like a state of depression. I recently picked up trying to stay more organized. I've been watching a lot of like minimalists videos, um, you know, like people setting up their desks really nicely and, and all the other stuff. So I don't know. I don't know if you could tell, but I kind of have a new setup trying that minimalist look. Um, I'll give you guys a little tour of it in a little bit, but yeah, it looks it looks pretty great. Um, honestly, like, you know, like keeping my things organized, clean um, and neat. It, it really did a lot, especially to my mental health. Um, I didn't feel as fogged. I felt more uh, inspired to work. I felt more inspired to be creative. I've been gaming. I recently built my own gaming PC. Um, specs, 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 specs. You know what? I'm not going to it's, it's not a tech channel. <laughs> I'll just, if you guys are interested in the, in the specs, I'll just list it in the description below for you guys to check it out and read and all the other stuff. So yeah, um, I got into gaming. Uh, if you guys are interested in gaming with me, uh, feel free to leave, you know, comment or reach out to me via Instagram or wherever you guys can find me. I'm, I, I'm everywhere on the, on the social networks. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, let's see. Oh, of course, now that I'm feeling more inspired to make videos again, um, I kind of want to start out by showing you guys like my film camera collection. Uh, that's what this video is going to be about. And it's awkward again, because I can never, ever, ever, ever get used to talking in front of a camera. So um, the first camera I kind of want to showcase to you guys was my very first film camera that I've ever, ever purchased. And it's this hefty tank. Um, it's a Minolta SRT 201. It's a 35 millimeter film camera. Uh, this camera is extremely heavy, so just be careful when you're messing around with this thing, because if you drop it on your foot, it's going to be the end of the world. <laughs> the reason why I like this camera so much is because it's very minimal. I'm rocking the uh, the Minolta 50 millimeter 1.7 Rockor X. I guess their Rockor series uh, lenses are their more premium lenses. I've used this to take many, many portraits. Um, I think I used this on the bl the what what film stock was it? Was it the uh, the Ilford 3200 film stock with uh, two of my friends? Yeah, I, th I think it was that film stock. I'm not sure. But yeah, it, it this camera paired with a nice lens with a great Minolta lens makes really, really, really great photos. The next camera I'm going to show you guys is very, very dear to me, and it's my all time favorite 35 millimeter film camera. It's the uh, Minolta X700. And the reason why I look so sad presenting this to you guys is because it's decommissioned. Uh, it's broken. The shutter is broken. Um, I think the, the shutter curtain ripped. Yeah, it did rip. I don't know if you guys could see it, but it's like ripped in the inside and that tore me. No pun intended. It's extremely easy to use. It's super fun to use. It's very minimal, but it has just the right amount of features for it to make it feel like a very fun camera to use. Um, I guess the uh, Minolta X700 series 
are very notorious for their shutter lag. And I'll give you guys a few examples, but it gives like a really like neat aesthetic effect. It's pretty cool. Um, I, I sort of liked it. If you guys can get your hands on one, just be aware of like, you know, like the shutter lag and the issues that this camera has because it's very notorious for it. Um, if I were you, I'd try to get it serviced before using it or get one that was already serviced. It's a really great camera. So the next camera that I want to show you guys is the Olympus OM2S program. And guys, this is literally one of the most easiest, easiest cameras that you could ever use. Everything about this camera is so easy and simple. And it's also one of the lightest cameras that you guys could use. Everything about this camera is just so minimal, which is pretty neat. I think I did a video with this camera, uh, with my girlfriend using this camera. She was shooting it on program mode the whole time and all the pictures that she shot came out really, really nice and well exposed. Um, and it was, it was really nice. It was really dope. So yeah, I would actually use this camera as a daily driver because of how portable and easy this camera is. I like it's all black color. Uh, it's very pleasing to the eye. I get compliments for it whenever I bring this camera out. And yeah, that's the Olympus OM2S program. Let's move on to the next. So this camera I'm about to show you guys, I just had to get because of how fun and how advanced it looked. It's the uh, Canon A1. I'm pretty sure all of you guys know this camera. It's a very popular camera. I'm pretty sure like Hey, I'd, I'd even say like 80% of, you know, your everyday film photographer has this camera in their, in their stock, but it's, it's a very fun camera to use because there's, there's so much that you can do with this camera. There's a lot of settings. I shot this camera many, many, many times and my favorite can lens and my favorite lens that I use with it is the 28 millimeter lens. It's an F 2.8 lens, which is really dope. I also have a 50 millimeter 1.4 lens for this thing. And whew, this camera is a really nice camera. Very worth the money. Uh, it, this is, I think this is the only camera that I have that uses a different battery than, you know, like a, your button cell battery, which is interesting. Um, but I do highly recommend this camera because it's a very fun camera to use. Canon A1. The next camera that I'm going to show you guys is by far one of the best feeling, best sounding, best everything cameras that I've ever used. And sadly, I don't have a lens with it anymore, um, but I'm planning on getting a lens for it pretty soon because um, I've I want to shoot this thing again. It's the Nikon F3. I'm pretty sure you guys know of this camera. It's a, it's a really great camera. It's very heavy, um, but it feels good in your hand. And my favorite thing about this camera is that the uh, viewfinder can come off and it'll make it into like a, a waist lever, a waist lever. It'll make it into a waist level viewfinder, which is really neat. I don't know any other 35 millimeter film camera that has that feature, which is pretty cool because all I know is, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, that's usually the case with medium format cameras. Um, this camera isn't hard to use at all. It's actually very minimal, um, but at the same time, it feels like a lot just because of how interesting it looks. Um, trying to get like a 35 millimeter 1.8 or 1.4 lens. I know those are super expensive, but it'll be worth it for this camera. Um, and I got this camera refurbished. So everything about it is in excellent condition from the power button to the uh, film advancer to, to the shutter speed dial to everything about this camera is it's, it feels really nice. I mean, it does have some brassing on the bottom, but that's that's normal. Yeah, I can't wait to shoot it again. <laughs> now we're going to start going into medium format land. Woo this camera, this is the Zenza Bronica ETRSI. It's one of the most beautiful things I have ever seen. Look how sleek it is. I got it in really, really good shape. It, I think when the seller gave it to me, it it was still in its box, so I don't know if he's used it much, maybe like once or twice maybe, but there's literally 
not a single scratch on this thing. And this was my very first uh, medium format film camera, which was really cool. I, I remember I started contacting the seller like immediately after I purchased this because I was messing with it. And the uh, film advance lever, I thought doing this, meant that it was broken and he gave me like a dud or something like that but yeah everything everything works perfectly yeah i would i would definitely use this medium format camera as a daily driver if you're into the medium format world um it's not that big to be honest i mean it's huge compared to 35 mil but compared to many other medium format cameras this is really really portable uh you it's modular you could take everything off of it turn it into like a waist level viewfinder uh you could change the lens you could take out the back and everything it, it's really cool it even has like a multiple exposure mode it's it's a really nice camera i've used this camera many 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 times it's really that good um if you're you know a beginner looking into the medium format world i highly recommend this it the the images that you get with this are really sharp yes 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 and this oh the, the final camera i want to show you guys the Mamiya RZ67, one of my prized possessions because it's one of my prized possessions. Really nice camera. Easily the most heaviest camera that I currently own. Dude, this thing weighs a ton. I shot with this camera a handful of times. Oh my gosh, okay guys, guys. Please, if you're looking on going on on a hike with a medium format camera please don't use this camera i think because of this camera i have back issues it was really the worst decision that i've ever made i went on a hike at mere woods in san francisco one time my friends and i decided to go off trail the hike took six seven hours because we got lost i was i was carrying this thing on my back along with my mirrorless camera, along with multiple other lenses. It was it was just really bad. Don't I don't recommend this camera at all if you're going to, you know, use it for like hikes, um, long walks, whatever. Just literally I'd use this camera. I, I don't use this camera too much, to be honest, just because of how heavy it is. I almost kind of regret buying this, but I just had to get it because of how nice, you know, the, the images. Um, this camera can produce. Uh, Mamiya makes really, really, really nice glass. But yeah, check check this out, dude. I'm like trying so hard not to shake. The cool thing about this camera, it's, it's like fully modular. You can change everything on it, customize it to your needs. Um, boy, I need to clean this camera. I need to clean all my cameras, actually. I haven't cleaned them in a long while. But once I start shooting, and I will start shooting again, You'll see me using all of this and cleaning everything up. But yeah, so that was my last camera I wanted to show you guys. Um, and I wanted to save the heaviest for last because I'm a lazy person and I didn't feel like carrying this, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, um, what's next for my channel? Um, you'll, you'll start to see me posting a lot more. Just give me some time. I, I know I've been MIA and I honestly, truly, 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 truly appreciate all of your support. Um, I know a lot of you reach out to me and stuff, check in on me, how I'm doing um, and everything like that in general. And hopefully, you know, I start picking myself back to where I last left off because I remember I was pumping videos like once or twice a month or even more than that. Like, you know, I, I had to stop myself from recording videos. That's how excited I was. Uh, making content and stuff but yeah um slowly taking it day by day uh and we can go on from there again guys stay cool out there because it's extremely hot right now peace <laughs>